Well, the knives are out as it's down to the final three on Top Chef Kentucky. Yeah, and after a long season of competition, Eric, Sarah, and Kelsey head to Macau to battle for the title of Top Chef. Take a look. I think I can win because no one else is cooking the food that I'm cooking. I'm doing a West African dumpling called Fufu. I love Fufu. I enjoy being called the local chef. Come on, little chicken. I seem like a southern belle, but you certainly don't know the other side of me. Woo! The three chefs are ready to pull out all the stops here in Macau, the cultural crossroads of cutting-edge cuisine, to win the title of Top Chef. And Eric, Sarah, and Kelsey are here with us now. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You Listen, so you shot this season so long ago. How has it been to get back to get the gang back together <laughs> and do some press for the tour? It's great seeing these two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we really like yeah. each other. <laughs> it's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of rolled your eyes. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've no, seen we each did. other a bunch since then. This is the first time we've got to hang out with Eric, though, so it's yeah. really been nice. Oh, good. <laughs> so now, before you went to Macau, you were in the bottom two, right? Yeah. Okay, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it like being in Macau? What can you tell us about that experience without giving too much away? Was it more challenging? It was, absolutely, because you're now like on the other side of the world. Um, there's a, a slew of new ingredients that we've probably never seen before for the first time. But um, you were kind of great at that, like bringing yeah. something different to the table. Absolutely. Um, so I think that was like the, the, the really great thing about being in Macau, because we got <coughs> to use the experience in, in, that we had in Kentucky and try to just kind of recreate that magic again in a completely new area. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Sarah, you were the hometown favorite because you're from Kentucky. Do you think that was an advantage for you or almost like a disadvantage? Um, good and bad. You know, I carried the weight around. I was worried about, you know, making uh, all the people in Kentucky proud. You're from, you were in Kentucky for a I while, so you there, know yeah. about that Kentucky pride. Yes, I do. Um, but it also was a really uh, motivating factor and, yeah. you know, it was a, a force behind me. So, good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> As with everything. Yes. Well, you guys got to get some help some, from some past Kentucky. Contestants. You yes. call them your, the dream team. Why did yes. you consider them that? <laughs> well, I think, I, you know, one really cool thing about this finale episode is that we all got to pick who we would have chosen. Um, they knew who I would pick. I knew who they would pick. Yeah. Um, very much so. So there was no, like, I'm going to choose Justin because I know Eric's going to choose Justin, or I'm going to choose Eddie because I know Sarah's going to choose Eddie. We didn't do any of that. We were like, pick your people. Let's play this fair and square, and whoever wins wins. And, yeah. um, so we did all get our dream teams. Yeah. Not that any of them would not have been phenomenal on our team, right. but um, we definitely got the people that we caught, thought would play up to our food the most, yeah. which was important. So yeah. you made good choices. Sure. You feel yeah. good yeah. about the choices <laughs> yeah. that you yeah, made. For sure. Yeah. Well, and Eric, you know, I think that you surprised everybody when you called Padma out for saying that you, your flavors were bold yeah. enough. Did that even surprise you that you did that? Or? that probably on the spot, yeah, when it yeah. happened. <laughs> I was surprised. I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know how people do that. No, it was um, definitely gutsy, um, but I think it's really important when you, you feel strong about your food to yeah. stand up and speak for it. You Absolutely. Know? They definitely allow you the opportunity to do so. so um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and this was, you know, a lot of girl power on this particular season. And you two formed a bond, you know, fans saw as they watched the show. Still close, still in touch, still tight as ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. We knew each other before the show. Ah. We didn't know each other were going to be on yeah. the show. But, um, you know, so there was. You didn't know until, like, you got there that like, you yeah. like, walked yeah, up the first day. Yeah. How did you all know each other before? We, we used worked, to work yeah. together in New York City. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same restaurant and everything, so. So was it weird competing against each other? Nah. nah. No? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Not at, it really wasn't, it, it wasn't. really wasn't weird at all. It wasn't weird to compete against really anybody on the show. We were all pretty tight and close and supportive of each other. Um, you were mostly competing against yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah for, and, sure. And, for sure. And working in a kitchen, especially in New York City or anywhere these days, it's competitive already. Like, exactly. I think it's a high-stress yeah. environment. Mm -hmm. So you prepared for this kind of your whole career. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I mean, <laughs> other than you know, the finale, what has been your favorite moment so far? This. Yeah. Oh, this, this has been yeah, fun. This has been a lot of Making fun. Making it top three is definitely sure. crucial. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This part's yeah. fun. You know yeah, the. Yeah. Um, you know just traveling around together and representing Top Chef as a brand has been really cool and it just all the opportunities in the doors that opened from it. I mean yeah. it's been really amazing yeah. and overwhelming for sure. Yeah. That's fantastic. Macau right, was great too. Oh, I'm sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That did not no, sting. No, no, not yet, yet but we will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, one of these days. <laughs> yeah. right, you can catch the Top Chef Super Size finale tomorrow at 9.30 on Bravo. Good luck to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah.